This one is for you, Shen. You are two and a half months old this week. Uh, I took you to the doctor's appointment on Monday. I, and then I also took half day off so that I can be with you. I just needed a few hours of break. Uh, Michelle, you are way too much for mama to handle 24 seven. Hmm? So we took you to the doctor. I also asked the doctor, how is your uh, two and a half year uh, progress. The doctor said you are exceptional. Hmm? You are talking fluently. A stranger can understand you 100% of the time. She said that as a stranger, I can understand her 100% of the time. When the requirement is uh, that a stranger should be able to understand a child at your age 50% of the time. Um, also at this age you're supposed to talk at least 50 to 100 words now uh, you're actually conversating uh, with anyone basically you are able to hold a full conversation you can tell what you want what you like and um, what you want to do um, the only thing you cannot do right now is say why when we ask you Ishel, why are you running away from mama or papa? Or Ishel, why do you want to watch TV when it's your bedtime? Or uh, why do you want to go downstairs when it's your dinner time? Something like that, you're not able to uh, give an answer, but you are able to say, because, because, that's very cute. Huh? Um, and after the doctor's appointment, we went out to the park uh, because mama took the day off the weather was nice you didn't have a fever for a couple of hours so i thought it would be nice to uh, take you outside enjoy the weather and right now you just love to look at insects uh, we spent a lot of time looking at ants uh, earlier uh, this week and you uh, were just uh, saying baby ant, mama ant, baby ant, mama ant, you know, s small, big, you understand all of that, um, but you like to associate it with mama for something that's a little bigger and baby for something that's a little small. And I find that very cute because, you know, mama is big and Michelle is a baby. And, you know, when you cry, you say, uh, baby's crying, baby's crying. It's so sweet. After that, we looked at some birds and, you know, mama was like, my daughter has to have a bird feeder. My daughter has to have a bird feeder. You love birds so much that mama got you a bird feeder. And, uh... I also wanted you to have a birdhouse, so you know, I found one at the store, uh, it was not colored, I colored this um, and after putting you to sleep uh, one day earlier this week, I thought how about uh, I tried to see uh, how hard it is to color um, because I didn't want to mess the design, I wanted your birdhouse to look very pretty outside uh, on a tree. Uh, and not messy like a one-year-old or two-year-old did it um, so that we can take some nice pictures I ended up coloring it for you and I'll let you hold it and put it on uh, you also love to sit outside and look at the birds you know hopping by we have a small garden outside and you like to see the birds, you like to spot the ants there, you like to spot a ladybug, uh, any insect. And sometimes we have these little uh, fruit fly like insects there. They like to fly and you like to watch them uh, fly and you like, spend your time outside digging your head in there in my um, planter pots. Uh, we have dahlia, uh, marigold, uh, and impatiens. 
there and you like to dig ahead and get so close to those little tiny insects that like to fly um, but I'm very happy for you because you're able to speak fluently you're able to express what you want uh, you know your numbers 1 to 30 at least and I have heard you say all the way to 14 but you mess up the numbers a little bit but you're way too good for your age uh, you love to dance just last night you said mama get up dance with me mama i want you to dance with me i i want some music and we turned on music and then mama did get up and you know um we're indian so i like to teach you a little bit of bhangra um i am not into bhangra but mama tries to teach you um and you're having a hard time eating different types of food you love mama's curry hmm? chickpea chickpea fritter curry chickpea fritter curry and we mix it with rice and you love to eat that and the nanny loves to feed you that uh, you also like lentils and rice pili dal uh, sometimes daddy wants that as well uh, we also love to give you rajma rice um, but you fell sick this week i did make rajma uh, but i did not give you oh you did have it but i did not give it to you the next day because i wanted you to have very light food very soft food so it doesn't uh, bother your tummy so we kept you on a bit of american sandwich you know like peanut butter jelly sandwich keep it light for your belly uh, give you cereal all of that but you have grown already to be mama's best friend where i take you to stores and you literally talk to me like an adult you say mama wow look at these big spoons and your favorite store is hobby lobby we like to go there to see seasonal uh, items and uh, i bought you this cute little um tea party set on our last visit there um but we have a trip coming up in a week so we're planning um and preparing for that so we have a lot to do we are going to assemble your bed you're getting a new bed right after we come back home from the trip and you are getting your tea party set in Canada at Taoji's house. That's one gift we're taking for you. Alright? So that's your progress for this week and I'll have more to come.